Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. This season marks a whole new era for the UGF Pandas, and that is the era of Jimmy Williams. Only a sophomore has the same overall as Will Horton had his senior season. The only catch is this guy can actually throw the ball. 91 throw power, 91 accuracy. It's not a shot at Will Horton either. Jimmy Williams is just a beast. He was redshirted last season, but in his freshman year, he was 18 of 26, 267 passing yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. We really only brought him on on like third and long, because he was the only one with a strong enough arm to throw it anywhere. Rayshon Tanner coming back from his redshirt season, 99 acceleration, and of course, 99 spin move. Our receivers don't look that fast, but boy, can they catch. Except for Bo Henderson. We don't know about him yet. We have two guys with 99 route running. Bo Henderson, if he could actually catch a pass, he'd be amazing. Huh, didn't even realize that. We have a head coach upgrade. You already know where this is going. Straight to that insta commit. Now we have a 10% chance of getting an insta commit when we offer a scholarship. And the next upgrade will give us a 20% chance. Only thing we have left to do in the preseason is set up our recruiting board. Looking at our school improvements over this past season, it was tremendous. We maintained our coach prestige at A+, which is very valuable. We increased our stadium atmosphere all the way up to an A, and if we keep our win streak going, we could probably get it up to an A+. Our attendance is at max capacity. We sell out every single game. Come a long way from season one. Everyone's a bandwagon UGF fan now. We have an A-minus championship contender. It says by 2020, we'll be 12th in the nation. Conference prestige stayed about the same at B+. Coach stability always going up because I've stayed at the same school for so long. It is now up to a B. Academic prestige, still a C+. Takes forever to upgrade that. Same thing with athletic facilities. Television exposure is surprisingly still low at a D+. I wonder if that increases during the season. Very surprising to me, we have yet to have a player drafted into the NFL. Kind of frustrated at that actually, I thought we had some pretty good players last year. Program tradition still a D, we haven't won a championship yet, and we've only won one conference championship. We'll get there eventually. Maybe this will be our year. Campus lifestyle is awful. To increase this grade, you gotta perform well in all areas. Well, there's a lot to improve across the board, so that will be a D- for a long while. I gotta say, Rayshon Tanner probably has to be the first All-American to ever be redshirted after his All-American season. Probably was for the best though, because him sitting on the bench that whole season allowed Jeff Warren to get the Heisman. Wouldn't it be something if he came back and won the Heisman for himself? Our team needs this year, we need one wide receiver, one center, and on defense, we need a free safety. Also, I know we're gonna need some corners in a couple seasons, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a jump start on that. Most other positions, of course, could use an upgrade. You never know what kind of talent we're gonna get this season. Ah, there's two players on the Spark 100 interested in coming to UGF. Just gonna go ahead and add them. Third best running back in the country and the fourth best outside linebacker. This season, I made it a priority to look for weekly bonus points on every single guy that could help us out each week. In doing this, it's my hopes that we're gonna get more highly touted recruits and we're gonna get them a lot faster. So right now I have a bunch of guys from the Spark 100, most of them top five in their position. Basically, it is get the number one recruiting class this season or bust. That's my goal. Brian Washington, number one athlete on the board. 97 speed, 94 juke move, 92 elusiveness. He can play defensive back or running back. Says he has 50 return, but with that kind of speed, he'd be great there as well. Joe Mills, another athlete. 6'4", so he might be a tight end, it looks like. Damian Hill, our last athlete on the board. 80 throw power, 86 accuracy. We don't really need a quarterback. He looks like an okay receiver. So this might be one guy I might pass on and save my points for somebody else. Not that he's a bad player. 90 speed at the quarterback position is still pretty nice, but we don't need a quarterback. Oh man, Kenny Hodges would be a great receiver. Another receiver, Bryce Patrick. 79 overall. Man, he's even better than the last guy. I'm gonna go ahead and move Bryce Patrick up the board. Last receiver on the board, Chris Bauer. 94 speed, definitely could use that, but the 59 catching is absolutely not what we want or need, so we're gonna get him off our board. Adrian Butler, 80 overall. My goodness, 87 finesse moves. Marcus Simpson, 96 throw accuracy. I mean, throw power is way more valuable, but you can't say no to that for a freshman. Sheesh. Brett Spurlock, 79 overall cornerback. He is locked down. Yeah, there's no surprise why he's number one in the country. Number two guy, 95 speed, he's just as good. Boy, I love this, I love going for the top guys. 
Alan Jones, 79 overall. Brian Landrum, he's interested in coming here, but I don't think he's that good. If he's interested in coming to the Pandas, though, I probably shouldn't just say no to him. He's a 6'4 running back. Oh my, I didn't even see that. Taylor Smart. 80 hit power. I'll take Taylor Smart. Alrighty. We've got our recruiting board set up. We did all our preseason tasks. It's about time we started season five. Ooh, we got seven preseason All-Americans, 13 preseason All-Conference. That's a good way to start the season. Some free XP. Can we get them with that scholarship right away? No one's to commit here, but we're going to go ahead and add some points. This is how I've got my board set up right now. 700 points to Brian Washington, that 97 speed beast. And then I kind of dropped it down the rest of the way. We offered a lot of scholarships and scouted quite a bit this week. So next week, we'll have a ton of points to throw back at all these dudes. I don't know if my strategy is going to work this season, but I'm going all in on recruiting. I spent way too much time on this. We're talking we're already an hour into recording, and I've only done recruiting. Good thing we've got a bye week week one, so we can move on to the next week and continue doing more recruiting. Wait, hold up. What happened to my schedule? What happened to my schedule? They messed up my schedule, man. Boys, I'm actually heated. It changed around my schedule. I set this up a few weeks ago. We were supposed to play Boise State, Washington, and then, of course, we'd play Georgia later on in the season. But it just completely jacked up my schedule. Now we have three bye weeks. I guess it's not the worst thing to happen in the world. We still have our dynasty. We're still playing in the ACC. But man, am I heated. Now we're looking at our out-of-conference games. FCS East, Miami of Ohio, Georgia State, and that's it. No Georgia this season. All because of the schedule mishap. I'm actually kind of upset about that. And there's no way I can go back either. It auto-saves in this game. I guess we have to beat up on FCS East now. <sighs> I shouldn't be as mad as I am, but like, I really wanted to play Boise State at the blue field. I was gonna have the thumbnail ready and everything. Let's go back to my favorite thing, recruiting. Because it's the only release I have right now after my schedule got mixed up. I'm gonna stop sad boying it. We're just gonna accept what we got in front of us. Now we're number two on Brian Washington's board, but LSU up there. All of our scholarships have already been offered to everyone on this board. So we're crossing our fingers that all of this stuff helps them in the long run. This has been a disaster of an episode. My schedule gets mixed up. We don't get any insta commits. <sighs> Not how I imagine the season starting, but okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. The Heisman watch, James Cook, is at number one right now. Kind of sad, we're not even in the top 25 yet, but we are receiving votes. 134 of them to be exact. Just gotta roll with the punches, baby. Doesn't even matter. Really, Pittsburgh is projected to finish number one in the conference. Do we have to beat them by like 60 points again this year? Do we really? We're a four-star prestige team, 93 overall, 97 offense, and an 83 defense. We've got a good team, but it's all about how I play on the field and how many mistakes I can limit. This game should give us an idea on just how good this 2017 team is. Yeah, we're playing against FCS East. If we don't score like 80 points, I consider it a failure. <laughs> I think because we have Jamie Williams, it's about time we have a whole brand new offense. I'm going into this completely blind, have no preparation to this at all, so I might be a little rusty, but we're going to give the Air Raid offense a try. Hopefully this goes well. So far, this episode has been a disaster. Top players at home, Rayshon Tanner, Sam McDonald, Jimmy Williams. That's going to be a high-powered offense. Good to be home in the Adama Dome, though. We can increase this streak no matter what. Didn't plan on beating up on an FCS school this year, but... Guess we'll have to. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, imagine us year one compared to FCS East. And now, <laughs> this is not going to go well for them. Unless I, like, uh, completely jinx myself, and then that would be a shame. Jimmy Williams. It's his team now. RIP Will Horton and all the OGs. Ray Sean Tanner, good to have you back, buddy. Returning the opening kickoff of the season. The spin move to start it off. Oh, didn't even need to do a spin move. But I had to. It's in his blood. Daniel Sanders back for his junior season. He's been our leading receiver for many years. We got Sam McDonald open on the first play. That's a huge chunk of yards. 20 yards on Jimmy Williams' first pass of the season. Jimmy Williams is definitely going to be a good player. But when he's got receivers like this around him, yeah, it's going to be even better. Sam McDonald. Oh, that could have been a pick. Really, really forced that one in there. We're going straight to the running back. Nobody's covering him. Breaking down the sidelines. Oh, a signature spin move. Couldn't get around him. Downfield, Daniel Sanders. Spin move. That was so beautiful. 
Oh man, Rayshon Tanner's back on the practice field, isn't he? Teaching everybody a thing or two. This is going to be a good year for the Pandas. Oh, they're going to throw it on their first play. He's got nobody open. Oh, camera angle make me miss. We're definitely going for the hit sticks today, boys. Screen pass. Nope. It's going to be intercepted by Brandon Montgomery. And there's no way. Oh, I thought that was going to be a pick six, but their quarterback had an amazing dive tackle. And with that, Brandon Montgomery breaks the school record for interceptions in a career. It is the start of his senior season. What an achievement. Maybe by the end, he'll have the NCAA record. Time to scramble. May have had guys open, but we're just going to do the safe thing. No reason to force interceptions this season. See how strong our O-line is. We're not going to go fullback dive. We're just going to go a, a counter play. Oh, wow, they are strong. That's going to be a touchdown for Rayshon Tanner. We just needed a few inches for the first down, but we just took it all the way for the touchdown. First one of the season for the young man. Reggie Manning's coming for you. Behind the line. Is that Mike Holt? It is. First tackle of the freshman's career. Stopping him short of the first down. Connor Hoffman. Come on. You're stronger than him. Fake pitch. Throws it. Push him down. Will Smith from behind. It's a two-yard loss. He's scrambling. Sanchez grabs him with one arm and brings him down. That'll bring up third and long. Will he test me deep? Nope, he's going to get sacked. Mike Holt. First sack of his career, future NFL star. We're bringing out the punt return team. I don't believe this kicker has the leg to make it. Yeah, that one's gonna be a little bit to the left. No good. Shutout still alive. Sam McDonald has got a blocker downfield. Where's the cuts? Breaks one. Keep going, McDonald. Use your speed. We needed that last block and that would have been a touchdown. Sam McDonald looking very, very good early. Slant route, it's open. Damon Harris, his meme continues. Gets tackled short of the goal line again. Daniel Sanders in tight coverage and he holds on to it. That's a touchdown. Second one of the game for Daniel Sanders. Liking this Jimmy Williams to Daniel Sanders connection. Do them push-ups. Gonna be doing a lot of those this game, buddy. He keeps trying to scramble. We already have three sacks in the first quarter. He's going deep. A little over my head. Montgomery's got the ankle tackle and he fumbles it. And he gets it back. What are these animations? Montgomery just got up and looked at him. That was very weird. Fullback handoff. Oh man, Mike giving him the business. <laughs> what a terrible, terrible throw. He's definitely not getting that. It's a pitch. Holy moly, Brandon Montgomery. That is definitely targeting. <laughs> Unfortunately, they put points on the board, so no shutout today. Down the middle, David Harris. Freaking rocket from Jimmy Williams. Not something I'm expecting Jimmy Williams to be good at, but let's give the read option a shot. This one's a handoff to Rayshon Tanner. Looking good so far. 22 yards, not too shabby. Bo Henderson all day. Bo Henderson. <laughs> the slowest spin move I've ever seen. Throwing it across the middle. You got A.J. Nichols. The freshman, first catch is a touchdown. Jimmy Williams already has three on the game. He keeps trying to scramble. And Mike Holt, second sack of the game. This is going to be a very special player. Sam Ramirez, he got beat, but Did he even step out of bounds there? Again. What is he thinking, man? Eddie Foster gets one for the team. Delayed pass to the tight end. Not going to be enough for the first down. You're going to have to punt it. Oh, I had the running back. Didn't see him in time. Take our first sack of the season. Ah, oh, crap. I thought he had him beat and I forced that in there. That's an interception. Deep in our territory, too. 
They might get points out of this. Oh no. They're gonna score a touchdown. Turnover comes back to bite me. I mean, I'm not worried about the whole game, but later on in the season, that could really cost us. Oh, that's a good lead block. That's a good spin move. I wasn't caught up on that guy. That could have been a touchdown. Screen pass. Can we get the outside block? Or run around the guy. Good spin move just to toy with him. Gonna hit the running back. He's got his man beat a little bit. Breaks off that one. Rayshon Tanner's looking good. We've definitely got the blocks here. Follow the lead blocks. This one should be a touchdown. He gets caught from behind at the one yard line. What a shame. I think it's only right we're gonna let Rayshon Tanner finish this one off. Walks it into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown of the game. Oh, that was a mistake by that guy. He could have been paralyzed. What a poopy throw. Sack number a lot of them. I don't even know. Why is my head coach talking to their team? Is he telling you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my team is doing this to y'all. Can't even get the pass off. That one's going to hit the dirt. Oh, it pinked Mike Holt in the face. Does that count as a deflection? Oh, no way. That ain't gonna work. Oh. Easy interception for Mike. The double spin, triple spin. That was some interesting moves. Oh, scramble opportunity for Jimmy Williams. And he fumbles it, oh good. So I think we've learned to slide down with the quarterback. Screen pass, won't even get it off because Reggie Manning's in the backfield sacking the quarterback. Now he's got him open, Daniel Sanders deep. Shoves off the safety a little bit. Another big gain to the Sandman, Daniel Sanders. Oh, I don't see anybody. Breaks off this one though, he's still on his feet. Jimmy Williams scrambling around for the touchdown. That's some awesome stuff. He fumbled it on the last drive, and then he goes beast mode, scrambling in for the touchdown. <laughs> Are we surprised? Another sack. We are relentless. Mike Holt in this first game. Three sacks. <laughs> Who is he trying to throw to there? Nothing going there. They're going to have to punt it once again. Running back time. Zooming upfield. Holy moly. Could you imagine if he did a Rayshon Tanner special on all of those guys? Rayshon Tanner sweep. Whoa. Holy. How many tackles is he going to break, man? Tanner beasting. Now we're just going to scramble to this side. Sneaky speed with Jimmy Williams. Nice stuff. Daniel Sanders got him again. Third touchdown of the game. Oh, he's so good. He is so good. Good defense. Todd Mitchell playing up and close. Set down my starter so they don't get hurt. We got the backups in. Even Reggie Manning's on here on the offense. Oh man, we're gonna get sacked. We're gonna go read option here. 78, we could've had that double block. Bo Henderson, he got his man beat, but not gonna be enough for the first down. Fine, we'll give our punter some reps, why not? This game is long over anyway. It's a solid direction for the punt. Will it be out of bounds? Yes, going out at the five yard line. That's good reps there, Stevenson. Oh, he's got the tight end across the middle. That's going to be a huge play. <laughs> Third sack of the game for Reggie Manning. Come on, Mike. Oh, diving catch from the receiver. I thought Mike was going to get that pick. 
the double sack from Will Smith and Reggie Manning. <laughs> Why are they trying to do play action? Eh, this defense is too strong for that. Wow, he is open. Sam Ramirez, you got some explaining to do. That's ours. The backup middle linebacker, Davin Freeman. He took it out of the end zone just for fun. The backup's getting some good reps today. And that'll do it for this game. Final score, 49 to 10. And you know, for an FCS game, we weren't as dominant as I thought we should be. Definitely some mistakes by me. Some things we need to clean up on offense and defense. But overall, good performance from the team. Jimmy Williams, he's going to be a promising player. 21 of 26, 351 passing yards, four touchdowns, and the only interception was because I just made a bad read. Didn't run the ball much because we switched to this new air raid offense, but Rayshon Tanner, 67 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. Jimmy Williams, actually kind of surprising. 30 rushing yards and a touchdown. Not going to look to run with him too much, but maybe scramble for a first down here and there. Rayshon Tanner had seven catches, 118 receiving yards, leading all receivers today. Daniel Sanders was getting it done in the red zone, 88 catches, three touchdowns. Sam McDonald had four catches for 80 yards. A.J. Nichols, the red zone threat, had his first receiving touchdown in this game. Reggie Manning led us in tackles with nine, four of them for loss. He had three sacks on the game, along with Mike Holt in his debut game. We also had three interceptions today. The senior backup middle linebacker, Davin Freeman, Brandon Montgomery, and Mike. We had 465 yards of total offense, not too bad. Uh, I would like to get our rushing numbers up a little bit and be more consistent in the passing game. Defense, we could definitely contain them a little bit better than we did, but only allowing them 10 points, it's not too bad. The front office is a friendlier place to be after a win than after a loss. Well, duh. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in the office when we lose. I'm thinking next episode we do a double header with Miami and Georgia State. Just knock them both out. Probably run the clock out on both of them because I don't see a scenario where we lose either of these games. Then we can move on to ACC Conference play real quick and get this show on the road. Improved our win streak again last week by moving into 15. Still the longest in the country. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel bad about the schedule getting messed up. I was really excited for this season. Regardless, we have a great team, and we got a real shot of going all the way this year. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. 21-yard rush. not even close. That's Will Horton's career game. Fans are celebrating, and they deserve it. Been an up and down season. Glad we get to finish it out on top. And a heck of a game from Will Horton, grabbing player of the game in this game.